signs as you know you will come across three different areas when it is data science one is okay. programming second mm -hmm. one is statistics okay and the third one is algorithms okay for all these three things when you when you are talking about tools in data science i'll say that also when you are talking about tools in data science you you are having three types sets of tools r python and sas okay 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 if you are learning data science you will be able to go with two different designations one is as a data analyst okay and other one is as a data scientist okay, okay. so when you are dealing with data analyst position you have to know some things related to programming and statistics and when you are moving as a data scientist you should know how to analyze the data statistical concepts and machine learning that is algorithm okay okay that is machine learning okay, okay. all these things whether you go for data analyst or whether you go for data scientist these are the tools when okay. speaking about r you need not have any prior experience in programming languages if you don't have any technical knowledge also it's fine r will be a little bit easier okay. one it is a statistical programming language okay even though if you don't have any uh, idea about uh, programming languages even if you don't have any idea regarding this tool also it's not a problem right from the beginning only we will be moving on right from the scratch we'll be understanding okay. r how to use the syntax all those and it's very straight forward the programming language is very straight forward it has got number of packages uh for a, even for statistical information also i'll come to that part what are the statistical things that you will be learning it in uh, data science that also i'll say so that it will be easier for you to make i mean like you can make up your mind also in that way so r means it is not at all a problem if you don't have any prior experience in programming also it is not uh, a bigger deal but when you are talking about python okay. it is something called object oriented programming language the syntax is a little okay. bit complex so if you are going with python definitely you should have some idea about prior languages like c c++ or java some kind of basic knowledge you should have in those things i am not saying like compulsorily you okay. should have it if you have a capacity to learn this particular python language it is fine because it is logically okay. and syntactically a little bit complex when compared to r right now only it is developing python is there for web development okay. for uh, okay. other processing option but when it comes to data science and for prediction option right now only we are entering into python so number of packages are there and it is very helpful only it is more powerful than r also but okay. Okay. the problem in python is the syntax is little bit difficult so people might be finding it difficult okay. when okay. you are from a non programming background if you are from a non programming background okay. and if you are taking python means it will be little bit difficult but i'm not okay. saying like you yeah. cannot cope up with that you can do it but you have to put lot and lot of hard work in that okay, okay. that is for python the next tool is sas 
SAS is something and uh, analytical is something. Okay. Analytical and statistical too. Which is entirely different from R and Python. Even if you don't know any programming knowledge also, no problem. SAS it will be very okay. helpful. It is entirely a visualization process. You can analyze it, you can visualize it. And with the help of your uh, scripts, but you have to memorize certain commands. How to use okay, where okay. condition out, but it is very straightforward. Even if okay. you don't have any prior knowledge related to programming, also no problem. Since you have completed, okay. I mean, you did your MBA, is it not? Yeah. Yeah. So tools will be very helpful. R and SAS will be very helpful, but I won't recommend Python for you. When you plan to go for uh, your job opportunities, you can straight away look out for domains such as banking, financial, investment sectors, uh, insurance sectors. In those areas, you can take a look and look for your job applications. Because banking and financial sectors are highly in need of data scientists. So people, those who know okay. R and SAS, they are very, very welcome inside their sector. Because Python means a little bit programming is there. I mean, little bit complexity is there. So people from MBA background, if they want to jump into this particular data science, which I'll be recommending R and SAS. That is your wish. Okay. You can go with either R or you can go with SAS. SAS is entirely a different concept. Most, uh, I mean, it's an analytical tool. Everywhere they will be using this analytical tool, both analyzation and uh, you can go for your uh, uh, visualization aspects also. If you are working in a retail marketing, okay. if you are working in an, um, uh, I mean, any kind of sales team, or if you are working for a banking financial institution, everywhere you will be able to use the SAS. It's a kind of analytical okay. and statistical tool. But what is the biggest advantage okay. of SAS is that you will not go with any packages. Entirely it is okay. available in the uh, studio itself. SAS itself, they have got inbuilt studio options. So you will be able to do that. Okay. But you okay. have to understand the requirement and you have to uh, write the syntax on your own. But it's in, it will be straight English. Okay. There is no separate okay. uh, gimmicks and all over here to memorize it. And if you understand the entire requirement, then it will be good. Okay. And as for your last question that you want me to answer that whether it will be okay for you to enter into this kind of environment after doing your MBA and after your previous experience. I'll be recommending yeah. it. Data science as a best field because in the future, in for another 20 years or 30 years also, if you think, there will be some kind of improvement in data science, but the platform will be same only. Many different tools may okay. come up in future, but the base platform will be yeah. going to be the one of the best uh, platform that you will be using. It. I mean, it comes, comes under big data. So one part of big data is Hadoop. Another part of big data will be data science. So you okay. know it very well. Right now we are entering into always we go with only data. Whether you work in any industry, you take banking, finance, investment, risk management, fraud detection, or if you are planning to enter into crime investigation or whatever it is, whether it is media or it's going to be education, travel and tourism, whatever it is, everybody has got uh, millions and millions of records with them. And everybody wants to process their uh, information uh, to help the business. For helping the business only, we are entering into this analyzation. Okay. Let us take an example. You are create, you are planning to create, you are planning to run your own business, and you want to know what will be the profit for your future for next two months. You want to find out the profit for next two months. How is it possible for you to find out for next two months? To have the past information. Past data, you will take the data, you will analyze it, you will try to visualize it, and then you will come to a conclusion that this will be the profit for next two months. Yep. So, data plays a very important role. Hmm. In the near future, definitely, year after year, the data is going to get increased only. It is not going to get decreased. Right. If you are into an entirely into an IT background, I would have suggested you to go, I mean, I would have asked you to take R and Python. But since you are not into IT background, if you are from your different background, if you are going with, it's your wish, you can go with either R or you can go with SAS, anything is fine. Or both also you can take. That depends upon your interest. Okay. okay.
in all these three things the common area is statistics hmm. so to understand statistics there are certain tricks that you have to mend and i mean like you have to go through that it is not like see mm-hmm. everybody is not from a mathematical background we all did mathematics when we are younger like when we were doing our college first year or second year that we try we would have done some mathematics even in your bachelor's degree you would have done some statistics also but later right. after that we won't be having much i mean after completing our uh, first year or second year and then after five years later if we are asking like what statistics and what is we have to do with that means we are not going to create any information from this and you are not going to derive anything also all this are mm. python and sas they all have a package mm. for statistics the main thing that you have to understand about statistics is mean median mode standard deviation variance covariance frequency cumulative frequency range minimum maximum regression correlation probability random variable normalization set score chi square test hypothesis testing time series analysis that's all these are the things that you have to be very very familiar with that. then mean square error okay. mean square error mean square error relative error but i won't say like everything will be used in one single analysis or one single prediction hmm all these things are common you will have it in a package r has got a different packages for all these things python has got one single package for all these things sas is having its own syntax for all these things so according to the data set okay. whatever you are taking you have to create a, i mean like after seeing the data set you will know whether to find the mean value or whether to find the deviation of that particular data set or whether to find a particular variance of that variable so all these things when you are trying to find out the uh, sorry when you are trying to analyze the uh, data set itself you will be able to understand the option so in that case you have to come across either of these things every time it is not like all the times it is not like we are going to do the mean calculation median more and all we are not going to do it depends upon the data set sometimes in a data set there won't be see if you have a numerical value only you will be able to calculate mean median mode and all right if there is no numerical value let us take it as having only character value how is it possible for you to mm-hmm. do any statistical analysis that is not possible no so it depends right. upon the data set on so understanding the i mean like this is what statistics is this is what it is filled up in our uh, tools also this is the package with the package also will go with these kinds of statistical information and one more thing is that you are not going to derive it you are not going to see how mean has occurred how median has come what is the normalization but formulas are there you have to memorize that formula that is there is no other way you have to memorize the formula but we are not going to derive it we are okay. not going to say okay. what is the probability in a normal distribution maybe bay is there maybe bay is there poisson distribution is there binomial distribution is there but we are not going to see how these all things came up we are going to be able to do that one because it's entirely a higher statistical information we don't want that we will be dealing with our okay. data science statistical concepts so how to memorize okay. these okay. packages 
how to use these packages, what are the different packages available, where to use it, when to use it, all these things only these are the tricks that you have to understand when you are dealing with these statistics. Basic statistics, okay. these are all these. Okay. And finally, under uh, machine, I'm sorry, data science, you will come across algorithm that is called as machine learning algorithms for prediction. Machine learning algorithms, where you will be going on with prediction. With the help of this algorithm, you will go with prediction. And here also the same thing. I am saying about algorithms, I am talking algorithm, it doesn't mean that you have to create the algorithms. There are some techniques. Okay. You have to take the data set, divide the data set, and then go with the algorithm. Perfect algorithm, you have to find it out. Because industry is using about 15 algorithms right now. All types of industries, I'm saying, not only one industry. Uh, your retail marketing, for weather forecasting, your uh, um, in the media entertainment industry, banking industry, insurance, investigations, clients, all these industries, all, I mean, like cyber industries, social networking, all these e commerce platforms, everything, everything comes under this to some 15, 14 to 15 algorithms. I am not saying like these okay. are the algorithms uh, only available. We have millions of algorithms available in Python and R. But only 15 algorithms are currently running in the market and they are very, very popular. So in the industry also okay. goes with these 15 algorithms. So when you are dealing with these 15 algorithms, you have to know how this data set fits properly in that algorithm. That is something very okay. important. So you are not going to create any algorithm. You don't want to create any algorithm. Already algorithm is there. Take the data set, analyze it, understand what you have to do, do some statistical analysis for that one, then come with your prediction option. In that case, find out which algorithm will be best. So, finding out the algorithm, to use that algorithm, the technique of understanding the algorithm only, we will be seeing it in our uh, course. How to understand it, how to create it, how to take it, and then find that, find out how to get the result. But it all, I like, I want to be honest with you, it's like that. It's not like that once you finish off this course, you'll be able to do all sorts of data. So anyhow, we will be taking different data set only. Since I'm working in that field, I'll be giving you different data set for you to practice and different data set for our uh, regular uh, practical session also we'll be doing with different data set. But doesn't mean that you will be able to, uh, only these data set only you will be getting. It. There are a number of data set, but you have to, the uh, techniques are same. Exec will be same. The data set will be different. So, okay. how to put that technique into that particular data set and how to get that set. That is what we have to practice. With. So, mainly you have to go with the logical understanding skills if you have, problem solving skills if you have, analytical skills if you have. These are the three skills that if you are having, there is no need to worry about what is the tool that you are using. So, to make it easier, there are two tools that you can choose. Either you can choose R or else S. And one more thing also I will say. R means you will go with uh, both data analysis, analysis and uh, machine learning concepts because packages are available in R for machine learning algorithms. Whereas SAS means okay. you will be able to do only data analysis that is all, all types of analysis you will be able to do with SAS it's because machine learning is not used in the current SAS studio. If you want to go with machine learning also in SAS means you have to go with SAS EVA. This is a software currently it is used but it is in the beta version. Still it is not being released in the market. It is just in the pre, -pre trial, trial release. So machine learning with SAS if you are planning means that will not work out with SAS. SAS tools. But Data analysis, visualization, and entire concepts of analysis like prediction, statistical, all type of analysis you can do it with SAS also. Only one which is not able to do this, that is prediction option alone, you won't be able to do it. But entirely, what all things R cannot do in analyzation, your SAS will be able to do that part. Whereas when you're taking R, you okay. will be going with the data analysis and machine learning. Both you will be able to do it. They have their own packages, and with the help of the package, you can take and you can fit your uh, program, I mean, in your data set, and get the result. Okay? Uh, one thing. Uh -huh. 
means actually in my previous work, uh, earlier class, means earlier uh, mm-hmm. training, the training where at, um, mm-hmm. uh, the faculty over there, he said that uh, SAS is not, not an open source, and nowadays, and R is an open source. Nowadays, companies are much more giving, uh, showing interest in uh, working on R rather than SAS. And he said somewhat like uh, SAS is losing its uh, glory, and it, the companies, most of the companies, are moving to R. So in that prospect too, means, uh, means no, it's not like the SaaS has its own importance. You have to know something. SaaS is not an open source, of course. Correct. SaaS is not an open source only. But it doesn't mean that R can do everything that SaaS can do. I mean, like everything, whatever that SaaS is having, the same option R is also having. Means no, it is not true. SaaS is little bit easier when compared to R. R you have to memorize okay. certain formulas, okay, and R. When compared to both R and SAS, Python is best. I have to say Python will be best. Okay. In future, Python will also be best. See, SAS has its own part of popularity. It doesn't mean that we are going out of that uh, option. The reason why they have stirred it like that means SAS, since it is not an open source, you have to buy the enterprise edition. Right now, for learning purpose, for training purpose, we have university edition of SAS. You can download it directly, not a problem. It is free only. And you can use for any number of, I mean, number of, uh, I mean, for, there is no trial version of it. You can use it for n number of days. But when you are taking or talking about enterprise edition, where companies are focusing on that kind of SaaS, you have to invest a lot in SaaS. 10 lakhs, the particular license itself, it takes about 10 lakhs. So you cannot buy one license. Okay, okay. For a company, you have to go for at least 3 to 4 licenses when you are talking about, uh, when you are going with SaaS. So that means you will be investing about 30 to 40 lakhs for particular software. So that is the reason why companies are not going, I mean people also, companies like IBM, Amazon, Flipkart, those, those who are into this uh, entire uh, uh, real-time marketing, those people they are able to go with SaaS because they can afford it. But other companies you see, so those who are in the upcoming stage, they won't go with SaaS because of its higher cost. So in and around in India, it may be a little bit, uh, because you know it very well, we have all types of different kinds of companies like A level, B level, C level. So top level companies already they have bought SaaS. Middle, uh, I mean like in the middle level company, they are yet to enter into this. Uh, some will have, some will not have. Uh, and in the startup level companies, they won't go much into SaaS. So instead of going with SaaS, they can go with R. Because it is an open source. But there are some restrictions in R also. The problem is you won't be able to dig deeper like that of in SAS. In SAS you can go deeper and analyze it. But in R you it is not possible. You have to think about the logic, you have to think about the syntax and then you have to make certain things up for and going with the analyzation. One thing. Second, SAS is very popular in US and the European market. If you are planning to move ahead with SAS. Okay. Uh, in, in the US or in uh, European market, which is very, very uh, kind of, and I mean, like when compared to Indian market, they are going up to a higher popularity. And now, since SAS has also introduced SAS Viva, this part for machine learning, it still become okay. it has got its own popularity again. But the cost of that particular license is little bit high. That is the reason why people, I mean, the companies are not having that much uh, idea in buying that particular product. Other than that, all three tools, these are the three tools only for data analyzation and data prediction. So there are no other tools apart from this. So all three has its own popularity. Okay. 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 So Um, for you, I will recommend either going for R or SAS. you have to finalize it, okay? Just go through whichever you want and then you let me know it. You can start from that one. And later in your course, okay, if you so want to go with Python, also fine. Because Python uses the same concepts of what we are using with R. In R, the same algorithm, same methods, everything is same. But the syntax is different. But the programming coding method is different in R. Okay, the 15 algorithms, whatever you will be using it in R, will be also there in Python or Python 2. But the problem is the syntax is different. So if you understand something with R means it will be easier for you to go with Python also. But a little bit difficulty that you will be facing is since you since there is the, you don't have any technical background in programming, 
then that you might be finding some kind of difficulty. But apart from that, nothing is going to be very much difficult. You have to put lot of logical and syntactical methods in stack, uh, Python. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes, and one of my friends who is uh, who is working in Samara Dubai, he is he is coming with some data science vacancy for area there. Mm -hmm. Means at that time he asked me to uh, uh, means uh, at that time even I was in try means learning that course. So he is asked me to learn R Python. Along with that he asked me to learn again some knowledge over SQL Server. So means up to what extent I I will needing that. Uh, See SQL if you are going to, to see if you are planning to go with SAS means SQL is needed only. The reason is SQL queries you will go with see SAS has got two two uh, options. When you are learning SAS, you have to go with the base SAS and advanced SAS. Okay. Two options are there. When you are dealing with advanced SAS, okay. you have to go with SQL and macros. Okay. So if you want to know SQL, means SQL is a structured query language. So if you know some sort of this query language, it will be easier to go with advanced SAS because advanced SAS entirely goes with this SQL one. So at least if you know some kind of uh, query languages, like how to select a table, how to create a table, how to drop the table, how to insert a row, how to delete a row, how to add a row, some kind of options if you know that simple queries, if you know it, then it will be easier for you to use it in advanced SAS. That's all because R is not going to go with SQL. Only the okay. command you have okay. to use. You, can, you will have a database. From there, if you want to take the information, if you want to analyze it, please for that you will use SQL. But the entire SQL query command is not going to be used in R. Whereas in SAS, the query commands will be there. So to okay. understand okay. that command, you should know a little bit of SQL. But that is not compulsory. It is not compulsory. Anyway, you will be dealing with that SQL commands from the scratch in advanced to SAS. So it is not a very big deal. If you don't know SQL also, people those who are teaching okay. you know, the advanced stuff, they will be helping you in understanding that SQL. Okay. Okay. Yeah, means uh, my only main target is to if I'm going to uh, choose some certain tools and get into this data science, it should be supporting for me at least like uh, next upcoming days uh, without any sort of hurdles. So for that, even I am prepared to uh, learn and do enough you know, hard work to uh, get the knowledge, gain the knowledge in the domain. Mm -hmm. So, in that prospect, what would you suggest me to, to choose? Whether See, R and Python or SAS and Python? I'll go with the R and Python because entirely you are going to follow Indian market means and uh, and you may be able to go for any type of company. SAS is also fine only. SAS is also works good only. If you are having SAS knowledge, also it's fine. I'm not saying it is wrong. But it is not possible for you to go with all three at a time. You have to okay, finish okay. R first, go with R first, start applying for okay. the jobs. At the same time, you learn Python, enter into the company, work in a real-time experience, then you can go with SAS. Okay. 